The AI revolution is changing everything, but a new MIT study just revealed a hidden cost that no one saw coming. For the first time, scientists scanned the brains of people using ChatGPT to write essays. The results? Alarming. 54 students from top universities like MIT and Harvard were split into three groups. One group wrote essays using only their brains. Another used Google Search. The last group relied entirely on ChatGPT. While they worked, researchers tracked their brain activity with EEG scans. But it gets worse. When asked to quote from the essays they had just written, a staggering 83% of ChatGPT users couldn't remember a single sentence correctly. Not one. Meanwhile, nearly 90% of those who wrote without AI could quote their work perfectly. The findings were clear. The more people relied on AI, the less their brains engaged. The group using only their minds showed the strongest, most widespread brain connectivity. The Google group was in the middle. But the ChatGPT group? Their brains were the quietest, showing the weakest neural connections. It was as if their minds were switching off, letting the AI do the heavy lifting. But it didn't stop there. After writing, everyone was asked to quote a sentence from their own essay. Nearly 90% of the brain-only and Google users could do it. But among the ChatGPT users, not a single person could recall a correct quote. Their memory of what they'd just written had vanished. The researchers called this cognitive debt. Using AI for convenience now means paying later with weaker memory, less creativity and a fading sense of ownership over your own work. Even when ChatGPT users were forced to write without AI, their brains stayed underactive. The damage lingered. The study's lead scientist warned that this effect could be even worse for kids and teens. If we let AI do our thinking for us, especially while our brains are still developing, we risk losing the very skills that make us human. But there's hope. When students who had been writing on their own finally got to use ChatGPT, their brains actually lit up. They used the AI to enhance their own ideas, not replace them. The key is to use AI as a tool, not a crutch. MIT's message is clear. Don't let AI do your thinking for you. Use it to push your ideas further, not to avoid thinking altogether. The future belongs to those who use these tools wisely, because the real danger isn't that AI will outsmart us, but that we'll stop using our own minds. Thanks for watching Career Chronicles UK. See you in the next video.